Rob Estorino is the Republican candidate for the New York 2014 gubernatorial election. Astorino serves as the very responsible Westchester County Executive, and he has a very good track record for lowering taxes and stabilizing his county debt. Under his fiscal stewardship, Westchester County has earned the highest credit rating among counties in New York, and he has helped to create over 30,000 new private sector jobs in between the years 2010 to 2014. Astorino's financial track record proves that he knows how to help his county out of a deficit. It also proves that he knows what methods work and that's all he plans on using. Also, if we vote for Astorino, we're voting for a revamping of New York's financial system because currently it's not working out too great. His plan. Astorino has proposed a 4% state income tax rate for singles making up to $200,000 a year and couples earning up to $300,000 a year. But people who make more than that start paying tax rates at 6%. I think this is a pretty good plan, like a, play, a pretty good place for them to start because this is more of a graduated tax rate. So if you make more, you pay more. And I think that's only fair. Astorino also plans to dismiss the Smart Schools Bond Act, which would authorize up to $2 billion in bonds to improve classroom technology. You may say, wait, excuse me, this guy's trying to cut education? No, he's simply trying to help the taxpayer, because these bonds will probably put us in about five years of debt for a computer that won't last forever. I think it's really smart and also considerate of Astorino to think about others and think about people who don't necessarily attend public school and that they also have to pay for these taxes. I think it's pretty reasonable. Speaking of being considerate, Rob Astorino is also trying to revamp New York's whole financial allocation of funds. Rob Estorino is going for the two biggest areas, Medicare for seniors and education. Medicare is very important because it allows seniors to get uh, free and a very affordable health care. And education is also very important because we strive to have our state to be just as competitive as everyone else, if not better. So these two areas are very important to us. When it comes to the seniors, we spend millions of dollars each year maintaining the Medicare system. I think if we spend this much money, there's no reason why we shouldn't be allowed to revamp or reevaluate how we're spending. The same as it goes for schools. Some schools don't get enough funding, but at the end of the year, some schools have more than enough money left over. And if we reevaluate the distribution, of the funds, you'll be able to see where can I cut some and where can I add some more in. And I think that's where Astorino is really just trying to look out. He's trying to see how can I cut the taxpayers' dollars while, cl while helping New York to climb out of its current deficit. In conclusion, in closing, Rob Astorino is generally an honest guy who really just cares about the well-being of the state. He really wants to help the state come out of his deficit. He really wants to just help New Yorkers be a little more proud of where they're from. Astorino, he also grew up in New York. He's really excited about being able to run for governor, and I'm really excited to tell you guys about what he's about. So, I'm going to go for it and say Rob Astorino 2014 because he cares about the people, he cares about their well-being, and pretty importantly, he cares about your tax dollars.